is going on guys? Johnny here. You need to check your eBay store. We got some things that are heading out this weekend. It was pretty slow in terms of sales, small but mighty. We hit some estate sales, Goodwill, all of that good stuff. And then I want to talk a little bit about this topic of the day. Frizz and I, we were doing some housekeeping today, some maintenance, and found something a little bit alarming that I think Rally Roots may have touched on as well last week, but we can confirm it's happening to us as well, and it may be happening to you. I definitely want to get into that topic and make you guys aware of something that we saw, and like I said, I think we... I think it was a rally roots video that brought this to our attention and then realized that it happened to us as well so if you don't follow him or if you didn't see that video whatever i wanted to bring it to our audience as well um but definitely definitely something to look into but frizz and i we did a lot of thrifting this weekend we went to an estate sale and found some treasures also found a blunder which reminds you that even at estate sales check condition bought these harley davidson shoes for three dollars thought i got the steal of the century as they go for almost a hundred took them home and the bottom rip did the bend test which i should have done there but phew, the bottom came out it just dry rot just one shoe the other shoe was totally fine but one totally dry rotted crumbled had to throw it away so even estate sales there can be condition issues it's not just the bins at the bins i picked up a couple hats i grabbed this atlanta braves fitted hat definitely needs a little bit of a wash but i will tell you it's a six and a half so i only picked it up because it was at the bins and maybe it cost 50 cents but six for fitted sizes just to give you an idea i have a, a pretty big dome and i'm a seven and five eighths uh which is pretty big Anything seven and under, I usually don't pick up at all because you're getting into like children's and youth sizes or anybody who has a tiny head. Um, usually the sweet spot, you're kind of in that like seven and three eighths, seven and a half kind of style. So this six and a half is small, but if you have any like middle schoolers, any sixth graders who love the Braves, your boy Johnny has you covered here. And then I also picked up this Yeti snapback. We'll throw this into our whatnot show, but everybody loves a good Yeti hat. Frizz is at a meeting with some of her friends, and I will tell you, if you are not following Frizzy's reselling journey, you are only hurting yourself. And if you guys do follow us, we appreciate you so much. But our girl Frizz knows her stuff she knows her brands you can learn a ton from her and then you just have to stomach through the me part but please if you have not yet subscribed subscribe because it will only help your reselling journey and maybe we can entertain you along the way but you know frizz is grabbing that vintage coach you don't even have to look at the tag you just know looking at it and just to give you an idea you always want to look inside you should see that creed there and then take a look at it match there's a serial code inside do a little research try to match those numbers coaches are faked like anything but you can tell based on feel and quality and the fonts whether or not it's real this one's real frizz was excited she's going to clean this up and get this one listed but bins find so we both grabbed jackets and I said no to hers and she said no to mine, but we got them anyways. I picked up this Columbia puffer jacket only because it's that titanium. It had a little bit of a better sell-through rate. This, I would not say Bolo. At the bins, this is super light. I probably paid a dollar for it. I wouldn't have paid five or six for it or something like that, but I think we can get 40 bucks for this Columbia, not a brand we really ever pick up unless maybe it's new with Tag at the Bins and even then, but nice jacket. And then Frizz said, oh yeah, if you're getting that, I'm getting this. It is an L.L. Bean Outdoors Women's Raincoat. Again, at the bins, probably a little bit heavier than mine was, but what, $1.50? So she's gonna get this one posted. But if you need a rain jacket or a puffer coat, let us know. But drop in the comments, would you have gotten mine or hers? Frizz and I are two fiercely independent people. We were independent when we got married. 
we are independent in some ways in marriage. But when we are thrifting, we kind of go our separate ways. We do our things because it's good for the collective. But sometimes we thrift side by side, hand in hand. And at the bins, she was going through right next to me, lifted something up. And I said, whoa, what is that? And I found this vintage Nike windbreaker comps on this in that carolina blue like that like 40 45 bucks probably paid two for it so learned a valuable lesson new with tags don't throw it in the washing machine now i'm going to say this is our most fun find of the bins or at least my most fun find and i found two of them to even to boot but guys, look at this. <laughs> look at this Tupperware. This one has a little bit of a spot on it, but we'll try to get it out. Look at this polar bear snowboarding Tupperware vintage crew neck. If you need a vintage Tupperware polar bear crew neck, hit us up. We got two of them. They're both size small on the Gildan tags, but that is too fun. I've always wanted to be an honorary vintage bro and so whenever I have a chance to pick up vintage shirts I do this is from a brand called Juli J-U-L-I but look at all those sunglasses giving you summer vibes not only did I find this one but I also found meow look at that cat another vintage shirt this one here on the single stitch you see just that one stitch there that's how you know it single stitch but that cat there, both of these have sold comps for like 20, 25 bucks. Weird sells, weird sells. People like weird, different, unique, things like that. So I found that cat shirt and I found that sunglasses shirt. And with that was this shirt. America the Beautiful, but guys look, all stitched the entire country, even even my hometown of Buffalo has a buffalo. The one shoulder has Alaska. The other shoulder has Hawaii, Honolulu. Guys, where, where is your house? Where are you on here? So the brand on this is Swan Magic. As you can tell, it's from 1996. It even had the Olympic Torch Relay 96 Atlanta. So just like a funky, like, I don't know, art teacher, <laughs> like teacher vibe, just very grandma, whatever. So just looking at it, and I had to clean it up a little bit. Just looking at it, cool, was going to throw it back, but said, eh, I'll just check out comps. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. What What would you pay for a shirt like this? I don't know, but people, so a lot of them are state. I looked up comps on eBay and a lot of them are state specific. Like there's a Florida one and an Oregon one and things like that. These shirts guys go anywhere from 50 to a hundred dollars. Yes. Like we have sold mother jeans for less than, <laughs> than what this will sell for. There were no comps listed on this America the Beautiful, but I looked back into Terapeak on eBay. You can do that in the seller's hub um, and found that two sold three years ago for $50. So it may even go for more because this comes around once every couple years leap year style but in all honesty i'm gonna get 50 plus for this shirt i'm not gonna say it's a bolo because you're not gonna just come across it all the time but if you see a shirt all sewn like that just snag it on saturday we went to an estate sale frizz always right to the closet and found not one but two lululemon zip up jackets we pass on a lot of lululemon yes the run has come and the run has gone we pick up almost all men's lululemon and we'll pick up jackets but a lot of tops some shorts even even some pants we'll pass on if they're at goodwill pricing a lot of times lululemon will be marked up at goodwill as well but five six dollars we're probably out on a good portion of things always check comps if it's a dollar two bucks snag it nothing to lose but i wouldn't necessarily pay up for a lot of lululemon anymore but two zip up jackets five bucks a piece we'll take it
Like I said before, if you are not following Frizzy and all of her treasures, you are totally missing out because even I learn from Frizz on a daily basis. If you saw our last video, she was at the thrift and she picked up a decente jacket, something like that. Well, we're at the estate sale on Saturday and I'm like, Frizz, look at this. It's a decente snowsuit. Look at this vintage snowsuit. They wanted 20 bucks for it, but when the lady rang us up, she only charged us 10 and a and a gum, amazing sell through rate. Great sell through rate. Look at that even on that. But these right here go for like $85 and I wouldn't even have known to look at this if I wasn't following Frizzy. We picked up a lot more, but that was just a quick overview of some of the things that we snagged so you can also look out for them but let's talk about this topic so what am i talking about when i mentioned you need to check your ebay store frizz and i we run off of a bin system right we use the SKUs, and then everything goes into a bin so you know say we got 20 items into bin 37 so if something sells and it says it's in bin 37 we go to bin 37 then we pull out the item and go from there right pretty pretty basic well we had fallen a little bit behind on our organization right frizz was doing crazy amounts of posting and posting and posting and we were just kind of taking pictures and throwing everything into a pile so this weekend we were like we have got to get this organized and get this squared away so we were working on it we what we do is we'll bring our bins upstairs and we'll combine them you know and just do some inventory and some housekeeping well we are finding out that i mean there's probably a dozen items so far and we've only gone through mm, maybe five or six bins that aren't listed that we had listed some of it is old some of it is not that old but it is not in our listings anymore things that we but really, almost some of it, we were like, man, why isn't this sold yet? Well, it's not listed. If it's not listed, it can't sell. So we've got to go back and honestly re-photograph things because it's not in the unsold, it's not in sold, and obviously it's not in active to figure out what the heck went wrong. But we've got to re-photograph everything, re-list it. So it is a good idea to do some housekeeping. Um for some of you who have we have about 1200 items and for some that's a lot and for others <laughs> it's not a lot so if you have more than that it's going to be a lot of work but i would do yourself a little spring inventory check and make sure that ebay is not taking down listings i I mean, I don't know what else it is. There's no way that we have a dozen items so far that were put into bins that weren't listed so something funky you know ebay glitches whatever the case may be but do yourself do your business a favor and do a little inventory because things are missing want to play a little bit of a game here if you guys have been watching our our last couple videos um, or have been following us for a little while you know that uh, about two months ago we started cross-listing um, all of our items using Vendu, right? So we have items on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop, right? So all, all four using those. So we're going to play a little what sold game. I'm going to show you four items and you have to guess which platform each item sold on. And I want to do this just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what sells on what platforms because I know for me, and I've talked about this before, like eBay is a catch-all, right? Like you can sell everything on eBay. And then Poshmark is close and Depop is vintage and Mercari is kind of like toys, hard goods, stuff like that, right? At least that was my brain. You may think differently. So I'm going to show you four items, one from each platform. You let me know which in the comments, let me know if you got these right. But we're going to go through go through these four items and let's see what they sold on. Show you the items first, all four, and then we'll go through it at the end. So first up, this vintage Richard Petty corduroy snapback hat. Did it sell on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, or Macari? Sold for $17. Second item up are these 
Christian LaCroix shoes. Now, the platform that these sold on, they got a ton of interest. We were sending out offers left and right, and then finally somebody sent us an offer for $44. We took it, paid, beautiful thing. Was it eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, or Depop? Next up, we have this Barbie encyclopedia. We picked this up at the Goodwill for like three bucks. I don't know, maybe like a year ago. When did the movie come out to theaters? I grabbed this like, oh, Barbie craze, Barbie craze, and it sat. But it is going out. It sold for $39. Did it sell on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, or Depop? Next up, we went back and forth on, but these sold almost immediately. We picked these up at the thrift store for $12, which for us is insane to pay, but they sold today for $45, so we'll take it. But it is, add the, also, add this to your bolo, Flint and Tinder. We found a Flint and Tinder jacket. I think we were at the bins in Denver. That was the first time we had ever heard of it. A pair of jeans. This is a schnazzy men's brand, Flint and Tinder. Did it sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, or Depop? $45, same day, next day sale, Flint and Tinder. Let me know. Okay, the Flint and Tinder jeans. Did you say Mercari? Yes, <laughs> if you said Mercari, you got it right. These Flint and Tinder sold in like a day for 45 bucks on Mercari. Barbie. Did you say eBay? Yes, if you said eBay, you would have been right. This sold for $39.99 on eBay. All right, so this is it. The Christian LaCroix and the vintage NASCAR hat. This should be a no-brainer if you are familiar with these platforms because, of course, the corduroy vintage snapback sold on Poshmark, yes! This sold on Poshmark, which, yes, means the Christian LaCroix shoes sold on Depop. Yes, what do they say? Never judge a book by its cover. Vintage going out on Depop, or on Poshmark, and these Christian LaCroix on Depop, yes. And can I tell you the amount of watchers and likes and just offers. Depop's weird. You can send an offer. They can accept it, but they don't have to pay. It's complicated. It's not complicated, but it's a little silly. But the amount of activity that these shoes garnished on Depop, shocking. So you never know. If you are using a cross-listing platform and think, oh, that doesn't go on that or that doesn't go on that, just throw it on there and see what happens. Johnny, checking in here. A little technical difficulties. I wasn't filming when I thought I was, and I was when I wasn't, whatever. But this Los Angeles Lakers throw blanket is heading out for $30. I have been having a ton of luck with throw blankets lately, so I have been snagging them left and right. For the record, that's only if I can get them cheap. And then I also sold this Starbucks mermaid mug tumbler. It is quality you can hear it's not like a plastic one um i believe it sold for 20 but it had been sitting around for a while so always check out starbucks comps before you just snag them out on poshmark is this wilfred dress it is sold at aritzia at least that's what frizz told me heading out for 32 dollars. this is probably my favorite sale of the weekend frizz picked this up look at this nike it's like a Patagonia Cinchilla kind of vibe pullover. This sold for $75 on eBay, so that's really why I like it. But how cool is this Nike pullover? Also, if you saw our last video, you saw Frizz at the thrift store pick up like seven J. McLaughlin pieces, J. McLaughlin, and two of them are heading out this weekend already. J. McLaughlin should definitely be a brand that you are aware of if you're selling women's clothes. Always comp it because you never know, but definitely something to keep an eye out for. Up a couple other comps just to give you an idea of what brands are selling for us, but Anthropology, Acree, and Patagonia, definitely brands to keep an eye out for. 
So we crammed a lot into a short video, but I am curious and definitely wanted to get on here and just sound the alarm to check your store, but drop in the comments and let us know, have you ever had issues or noticed listings disappear? Do you do regular inventory or do you just kind of list it and hope that it's all okay? We probably don't review our listings as often as we should. Well, clearly, thankfully we caught this now and we're going to go through everything and see how many things that posts need to be reposted but drop in the comments let us know do you regularly check your inventory and your listings also comment like subscribe all of that good stuff and we'll see you guys again soon Thank you so much for making it to the end of another Frizzy's Finds video. Be sure to subscribe and like and make sure to comment in the bottom that you made it to the end and we'll see you on the next one.